Hi, I'm Mr. Priscilla, and today I'm with my Math 1324 class, Math for Business. We've been working on linear programming, and we've been solving problems like this using the graphical method. And I want to show you a website that will help you with some of these calculations, especially when you're doing the application problems. Those word problems that might take a while to set up. It's not my intention that you do all of those word problems by hand. I want you just to set it up and then maybe try using this website. There's a variety of different websites. This is the one I like that I've used that I like the most, okay? It's www.phpsimplex.com slash en. Put the slash en so you'll get it in English rather than another language, okay? So I don't know if y'all can see that. Like phpsimplex.com slash en. To get started, you either click here or here. I'll just click right there. And we may not have yet discussed the simplex method, but there are two ways of solving these. We can use graphical method when there's only two variables, x and y. But um, there's another method called simplex, which I'll show in a moment. The graphical method has two unknowns. When it says the constraint, that's the, how many less than, how many statements with less than or, or greater than symbols, but not the non-negativity constraints. You don't include the x greater than or equal to zero and the y greater than or equal to zero. That's going to be assumed. So I put to continue. And this will handle maximize or minimize. You use the pull down bar to choose minimize. We're doing maximize. This one, punching in, first of all, the objective function 8x plus 12y. And the two constraints, 40x plus 80y is less than or equal to 560. And 6x plus 8y is less than or equal to 72. So, patching those in. Well, Now, if you had something other than less than or equal to, you can use the pull down menu to change it. 560, 6, 8, less than or equal to 72. Let me make sure I didn't mistype anything. Nope. So, continue. And writes out the problem. It's going to show the graph of the feasible region. And then down here in green, that's where the solution is located. So the maximum value would be 100 located at the point 83. Now these points that are highlighted here in red, those are not in the feasible region. They're not actually corner points. Okay? Not in the feasible region. The green one is your answer. So we know the maximum value is 100 at the point 83. Just to illustrate the simplex method on this website, you can say solve using the simplex method. And if you click continue, it's going to go through showing all these matrices and so forth, okay? And give you the answer. Might be best just to click direct solution, but here's the answer down here. The optimal solution is 100 at x1 equals 8 and x2 equals 3. So we can say, okay, the maximum value 
is 100 at, now we're using x and y instead of x1 and x2. At x equals 8 and y equals 3. Okay? So try using this website. It'll help you on some of those word calculations on those word problems especially. Okay? And it does, works for both graphical and simplex. So thanks for watching and enjoy this linear programming.